All right, this morning we have an update on the issue of control of Congress. CBS News now estimates Republican are one seat away from winning the 218 seats for a slim majority in the House after failing to take over the Senate. Both of the top GOP leaders on Capitol Hill, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, are facing challenges from within their party. Nicole Killian is following this for us. Before an official call, House Republicans assume the majority, nominating Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy as their next speaker. The era of one-party Democrat rule in Washington is over. In a closed-door vote, the California Republican won the backing of 188 members. 31 voted against him, and he needs at least 218 when the new Congress convenes early next year. Do you think you will have the votes by January to become speaker? Yes, we have our work cut out for us. We've got to have a small majority. We've got to listen to everybody in our conference. McCarthy fended off a last-minute bid by conservative Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs. Some members of the right-wing House Freedom Caucus demanded more concessions, while others want a new leader. Well, I think we can do better. There was also drama in the Senate where Minority Leader Mitch McConnell faced his first leadership challenge in 15 well, years yeah, right. from Florida Republican Rick Joe Scott, who called for a nice change guy. from the status quo. Quo. Uh, I have the votes. I will be elected. After a tense three and a half hour meeting, some senators called for a delay in this week's election following the GOP's lackluster midterm performance. I've got nothing personal against Mitch McConnell. It is a hard job. If you're the coach of the number one football team in the country and you go in and you lose one, two, three big games that you're supposed to win, you know what happens? That coach gets fired. McConnell and Scott have been at odds for months, with McConnell arguing that candidate quality was more important, while Scott, who ran the campaign strategy for Senate Republicans, said he believes that parties should have put forth a plan to voters. Gail? All right, to be continued for sure. Nicole, thank you.